Monday's sort of a catch-up day on some level. So Monday we're sort of um, getting rid of the last previous show with uh, wrapping up all the returns, wrapping up all the paperwork and um, getting things done. I start prepping the photo shoot and um, dealing with the ideas of what the promos are going to be and what's the what are the photos going to look like. So that's sort of my day on Monday. Have um, you met the host by that point? I had not met. The host doesn't come in until 5 o'clock on Monday. But I have to start getting an idea of what's going on and what sort of ideas we may want to do for the photos. I, have to, I generally will take a look to see kind of what they've been wearing lately, what kind of idea, like if they've been on the red carpet lately, if they've been here. Usually a lot of them are coming by way of a press junket. So there's a lot of photo imagery that's come out uh, because they've been doing a lot of press. So I kind of need to see what things they've been wearing so I don't duplicate them um, and make sure we have our own look for our own show for that particular thing. So that, that Monday is sort of dealt with that and pulling clothes and going to the stores and starting to, to pull clothes for the photos. Monday night, they start talking about the promos, which we start shooting on Tuesday. Tuesday afternoons, about three, we start shooting the promos. Um, and those are, they go on the internet, they go on Facebook, they go, there's a couple of them on TV on Tuesday night. Um, and those are generally a host plus two or three cast members. Sometimes it's different. The concept is always slightly different. Um, sometimes they scrap the whole concept that I worked on on Monday and come in on Tuesday. Like, so we're just going to simplify it now. We're just going to make them, she's just going to wear jeans. I'm like, okay, great, <laughs> fine, whatever. It's all good. So do you do a quick fitting with the host like Monday or Tuesday? <coughs> no, so, or? no. So the first time I'm actually meeting them and talking to them and doing all that kind of stuff happens Tuesday right before we do these promos. Um, so I have a rack of clothes um, sort of set aside for that. Um, I meet them and, you know, sometimes things need alterations, sometimes don't. They're not, the promos haven't been terribly complicated this year. Last year they were a little more involved and a little more complicated. Um, this year they've been a little less than that. I have off Wednesday morning unless there's more stuff to kind of coordinate. Like today I'm prepping for the photo shoot with Sandra, which is tomorrow. Um, and so I spent the whole morning pulling clothes at different places, um, showrooms and um, getting ready for that. That, But generally I have um, Wednesday morning off until about 2. And then we come in and then we start read through around 3.30 and uh, read through last until about 8. Um, and then that's where we, we read about 40 sketches. We end up picking about 15 of them. Um, and so after read through, we go into a meeting, pick the show, um, come back, and then we sit at a table, the hair, makeup, wardrobe, costumes, all the actors, all the writers come in, and on one side of the room is us, and then the uh, set designers are on the other side of the room, and it's just a way for every group of writer and actor to come in and talk about their sketch, and that's when we talk about what it's going to look like, what kind of wig they want, what kind of just sort of... Um, the general look and feel of everything. Sometimes they have ideas, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they have really specific ideas. Sometimes they've written in the script. Sometimes that doesn't make sense what they've written. So it's the first time we kind of all try and collectively figure out what um, this whole thing is going to be. And are you like showing them photos on your phone? Well, or? sometimes, yeah. So sometimes during read through, they'll say something and I'll do a sketch on the piece of paper or based upon like something they're hearing or um, something I'm hearing or sometimes they have a reference of something. So I'll quickly look on my phone um, to pull up some kind of reference. And, and so between a sketch and them talking and me sketching at the same time and Eric making, we're all like kind of jamming to kind of see. and. Sometimes they have a picture on their phone. Um, sometimes I'll quickly be like, wait, do you mean like this or like this or like, you know. Um, and then after that, I come down here. Um, all that takes place upstairs on 17. And then I come down on, um, it's probably about 10 o'clock by this point, um, Wednesday night. And I start making these cards, which are our shopping cards. And it's sort of... Um, it's a card that has 
the actor's name, the character, the sketch, and just sort of a general idea of what I think that particular outfit should look like. Um, red sweater, khaki pants, sneakers, or some sort of um, 1980s blue floral Midwest, or some, you know, sometimes J.C. Penney slash Macy's, or, you know, some sort of inspiration that I'm thinking about that particular thing. I'll go back and reread the sketch, and based upon them talking with the actors, I'll do some stuff on the computer, trying to compile a little bit of ideas um, so that I can go over everything with my assistants in the morning. And so, um, after that, go home, go to bed for a couple hours, come back, come here by 8 o'clock um, Thursday mornings. Um, organizing again, trying to make sure all the things are together, um, doing some more last minute research, and then have a meeting with everybody to kind of start to get the day started and sort of divvy up who gets what and who's going to shop for what. And, and there's four of us who are out shopping um, and we all kind of divvy up however we need to divvy things up. So we bring clothes back and, and you know, and, and while we're doing our job, like everybody's doing their job, like the, the writers are doing their job, the actors are doing their job. Um, if we have the photo shoot, sometimes the photo shoot's on Thursday, so then my morning then becomes the photo shoot. Um, and then after the photo shoot, we do another set of promos on Thursday afternoon. So sort of my morning is taken up by photo shoot and promos. And so by four o'clock, that's kind of when I can go back to engaging with the show. And um, I sort of run as fast as I can out the door so I can start doing my cards and my shopping. Um, and, uh, you know, everyone's rewriting and they've gone, some of the early rewrites start coming in and sort of be like, okay, so now we're starting to change this and we want to do this. And um, Thursdays become a little more like after four o'clock, the energy shifts to deal more with the film unit things because they usually go out either Thursday night or very early Friday morning. So the whole, the whole thing starts shifting a little, it starts tilting a little to engage the film stuff a little more. And then um, we pull clothes, we're pulling clothes, we're buying clothes, everyone's out doing their thing. And we're here until about probably 10 o'clock um, Thursday night and then come back Friday with a set of rewrites and changes and we start again, Groundhog Day part two. <laughs> uh, start at 8 a.m., have another meeting at nine to go through what they, what we all felt we accomplished or what we're still missing, what we think is missing, what we want to do um, and continue everything. And then around six o'clock, we start doing fittings Friday night. So we do sort of fittings between six and midnight um, cast members come in and out. It's not, anything's not, nothing's really scheduled. People just sort of drift in and drift out. Um, and sometimes we get them for the whole time. Sometimes we get them for a little moment, then they have to go back and rehearse, then they come back. And so it's, it's a very, like I said, organic, like it just kind of, things just are happening, you know, things just sort of, it all just kind of flows. Um, and then, I do the fitting with the host generally sometime between eight and midnight, um, Friday night. And that, you know, things change, things morph, things, ideas, and all that sort of stuff. And so um, go into a meeting to talk about the show Friday night around midnight, and I get home around one, I guess, Friday night, um, and then start at eight o'clock Saturday morning again. Um, have another meeting at nine. We go through everything again. What 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 came of what came by way of the fittings and what we still need and what we have to change out and and um, you know we start rehearsal at one o'clock on Saturday and that's sort of the first time we'll see the hair and the wardrobe and everything together at the and it's as much wardrobe as we have possible at that particular moment. Sometimes we're just getting things on them for the first time if it's being made or something like that. Um, and we watch it on the monitor and see what happens and we change things and you know sort of be like oh my god wait two people are standing next to each other who are wearing the same outfit or you know 
So that's kind of the, the first time we see everything together. And we're just adjusting things all the time and adjusting things. And then we have a dinner break around 5.30. Um, we may, we have our, a list of notes that we've been taking through the day and um, change things, morph things out, um, and then do a dress rehearsal at 8 o'clock on Saturday. And then that's the first time everything is officially all together and we run it exactly like a show. It's usually about 25 minutes longer than the live show. And then it comes down around 10 and um, we go into a meeting, refigure the whole show around again, um, cut usually around four sketches and uh, start the whole thing over.